look at us sailing along out in Puget Sound. So here under the protection of the Dodger, looking down below in the cabin here, you can see the sea swing still swinging a little bit. So we're kind of clawing our way upwind here. The wind noise is going to get unbearable if I leave the Dodger here. So we're out in central Puget Sound. The boat sailing itself, I just locked the tiller and it just uh, climbs along as it needs to, making adjustments. There's the uh, center of Channel Dewey and one of the Kingston Edmonds Ferry. continue. Okay, so we're back. Yeah, it's a little breezy day out in the neighborhood. Probably can't hear a thing because of the wind. So the boat does sail itself, but I mean, you have to make a few adjustments. But I normally do that just with the mizzen here. quieter it is down here. So, I am smoking some up in K number 60, Latakia, Virginia. I think I got that from uh, Iwan Reese, I do believe, some years ago. Whoops, sorry, I don't mean to blind you in the sun. Yes, indeed. Kind of a breezy little day. It's great. <laughs> so, come on sailing with me. Okay, if you can put up with the wind noise. So we'll head over to the uh, to the eastern shore here, and then we'll make a tack back across to Kingston, and we'll be good. Timing will be just about right. It'll be just about dark when we get in, which is about perfect. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm smoking a uh, a Gladstone. One of my, I love this shape. You know, it's like what would you call that? A quarter bent, I would say. Ah uh, yeah, it just I don't know. It just feels right. The F and K is pretty good, actually. It's been uh, cellaring, if you will, in its little bag there for six or seven years, because that was in the bottom of my, you know. Etc. tobacco drawer, and so <laughs> kind of forgot. But I threw some stuff together to come out and uh, come out sailing, and uh, there it was. So it stays lit pretty well. Um, it's not super dried out. It's actually about perfect. It goes pretty fast though. Um, it's got some good flavor. Hard to divine the uh, different. Like, is there some sweetness to the Virginia? Yeah, there probably is. And you can certainly get the Latakia, you know, it lends a deeper kind of piney note to it. So, <laughs> this is a great.
great boat. It doesn't point as high as a sloop, and especially a modern racy sloop. But it does pretty well, and it can really handle its own in rough weather. So it was designed to uh, potentially go around the. Of course, you know hyper hyperbole, but uh, to go around the world single-handed. So all the lines for both, and you know, there's a few lines um, because the reefing. It's single line reefing, so it comes down to some winches back here, or uh, clutches, some more clutches over there, lots of lines here, and a single winch. Everything comes back to a single winch. So, in the protection of the cockpit. That's pretty special, actually, if you're single handy, as I am most of the time. So, yeah, it's a, it's a neat little boat. Special. It's very special. Alright, well, we're just kind of crashing along here, having a good time. There's something about the motion of a sailboat climbing upwind in some waves and some wind that is muscular and yet liquid. I don't know, it's hard to describe. But it's pretty neat. So looking downwind, you know, it doesn't look particularly wavy, but when you look upwind, <laughs> and we're climbing up here, quite catch I'm going to guess it's blowing 20 to 22, just a guess. Maybe 15 and gusting 22, I'd say that. All right. Well, getting close to the eastern shore over there.